Hey guys, so today's video is about goblins. We all know you love a good goblin story. Um, and we actually have some good news. Our models are out. Hey, check them out. Links down below. I think they look really cool. Yes, head on over to your website and check them out because they are so good and they'll probably sell quite fast. So, yeah, so. get over and have a look before we have to restock them again. Which could be a few weeks, but yeah. we'll find out. We'll find out. Anyway, check that out and uh, let's get into the video. What are some interesting stories you guys have that feature goblins? Bonus points if the goblins are cute. <laughs> yeah, you know what we're getting into, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a story. One of my favourite ways to start a game is to have a random goblin bust in the inn, bar, local lord's home or whatever place the players find themselves in and aggressively give out a mission. In my case, the goblin enters a tavern, dodges the owner and shouts that he has money in exchange for a murder then runs out of the place and the players have to follow the goblin to get the details. The mission is that the group of humans cleared out a goblin nest and now this survivor wants payback. I love That's that. Really Honestly, I, I, I'm i just really fond of goblins in general though. I love the way you can use them for almost any situation. Yeah. You can scale them up, you can scale them down, yeah. you can give them any personality. They're a really good that, blank I slate. think they're, they're, um, the personality that comes with goblins as well can be fun. Yeah, they, they are a lot of fun. I really, really enjoy fun. them. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can have them going really nasty and malicious, mm -hmm. you know? I, I love the idea of having, like, a genuine, like, evil mastermind, like, mm -hmm. you know, Pinky or and the Green sort of thing. you can kind of play them like Gollum. Yeah. Know, has a good side, like Smeagol, and yeah. then has a bad side, like Gollum, like, walks oh. behind the crew and is like, I gotta fucking hate them! <laughs> <laughs> I love goblins. A goblin paladin in my game is called Blagtick B. Blagtick. He inherited the name from his father, Blagtick, and his mother, Blagtick. <laughs> Quality. You see, many generations ago, in a desert realm known as the United Kingdom, <laughs> a powerful king <laughs> hired the help of a tribe of goblin mercenaries for an upcoming battle. But when the battle began to turn against them, all but one of the goblins turned tail and fled. However, the king narrowly managed to win the battle and summoned the goblin mercenaries before him, where he cursed the entire tribe. Specifically, he said, Fuck all of you goblins, except Blagtick, I guess. He's alright. <laughs> Indicating the solitary goblin who stood his ground. Since that fateful day, every newborn in the tribe has been named Blagtick. Do you avoid the curse? I like that. That's, I like a, that's, that. a, that's, a, that's a good backstory. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that. I don't have a cute or funny story, but I have one of a PC I had that was super cringy. Basically, I had a PC that made a goblin girl barbarian as his character. All good. Decides that the bonus she gets for not wearing armour means that she's naked or just wearing a string of chains that covers my nipples. He then decides that the goblin has like triple M tits and huge thighs. <laughs> I'd go with it. <laughs> like, okay. Man of culture. <laughs> yeah. I'd go with it and just kind of never bring it up again. Later the party is supposed to talk to a group of city goblins that have a part for a big machine that they need to fix. The goblin PC then goes on a tirade about how in their backstory they were the only goblins left in the world after all the goblins got enslaved and killed. Nah, that's something up to the DM. Yeah, it's up that's, to the that, DM. You, you can't just put that in your backstory. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm the last of... Oh, no. No, you're not. No, you're not. Stop. <laughs> I told him he's an idiot. Then he tried to force the girl in our group to have her character fall in love with his. Had to kick him out after that. But fucking Christ was everything he did cringy and horrible to deal with. Made me not want to have goblins in my games for oh, a while. no! Because it made me just think of them as cringe. No. No, I love my goblins. I love goblins. I, lo I love them. They've, they've just got charm to them. Yeah. You know, they've got that silliness factor that I just... I know a lot of people aren't into the whole silly thing, but like I, I, I personally enjoy it. Yeah. You know, I really enjoy it, so... They can be used as the comic relief in Almost serious anything. games. And look, if the boy just wanted to fuck a goblin, you know... <laughs> 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 what can you do? What can you do? Jesus Christ, like, you know, like, that's all he wanted, all right? Are you guys not going to play along with a guy that clearly just wants to have a wank when he goes home? <laughs> Jesus. Like, that's what these people are like. I, wanna... like, ugh, I don't get it. I don't get I it. I don't get how anyone can get off to this type of shit. Yeah. I don't know. You can call me a fucking shrewd all you want in the comments. Seeing as we're talking about goblins, um, James, do you want to put in, insert a picture of your goblin? Oh, oh shit. The art that you got done. Oh, with Gobby. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I'll show up. I'll look the artist as well. Yeah, I look the artist as well. It was really good. I thought his stuff was it really does cool. Look really well. I really like him, sweaty. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking uh, a bit of artwork done, um, check him out. Our party was as follows Minotaur Barbarian, 20 strength, great axe, unarmored AC out the ass. 
HP like a truck, and about as smart as the brick wall he could walk through if he really put his mind to it. This was my character. Elf Death Cleric. Lawful evil healer. Would demand IOUs in exchange for healing. Male human fighter. Sword and board. Slight AC edge over the barbarian. Tried to be the straight man of the party. Emphasis on tried. Changeling sorcerer. Liked fire magic. Antagonising the fighter and stealing all the gold. Tabaxi rogue. Was there also... Might have been a ranger now that I think about it. The actual adventure went further than the part I'm going to say, but the parts portraying goblins were early on. Party starts off in tavern in some small fishing village, where the passive-aggressive conflict over who was more masculine between the barbarian and fighter was broken up when the guard stumbles in dying. After the cleric extorted the contents of the man's pockets, we find out that he was injured by a local goblin tribe, who were believed to have abducted some children in coordination with some local bandit group and he told us where the hideout was. Our party proceeds to be sent in with the promise of monetary recompense, glory, and a whole lot of alcohol if we get the kids back. Not a bad deal. <laughs> yeah, honestly, Ergly Level Quest sounds, sounds yeah. dead on to me. I can work with us. Then we meet the goblins. Little skittish things that sound vaguely like Russell Hard's grandmother voice. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Not many people will know that, but no. you know. Look it up if you don't know it, but basically really nervous and softly spoken. The first goblin band proved no match to our overwhelming capacity for disproportionate violence. And were swiftly dealt with. Some dead and some taken prisoner. This was a mistake by the DM. The following brutalization of these skittish and cardly non-threats was in hindsight nothing short of monstrous, but was at the time hilarious. Highlights included, but were not limited to, trying to feed a goblin chunks of his dead friend impromptu roasted by flaming hands. Oh my god. The Minotaur thought he was being nice by sharing his food. <laughs> Stuffing a goblin inside a trapped chest. We only knew it was trapped because the goblin warned us about it suffocating him with poison gas until the sounds of crying and desperate kicking stopped. Oh my god, these oh people my are god. And are replaced with nothing but silence. Wearing a goblin... Wearing? Wearing a goblin that was very much alive until this manoeuvre as a hand puppet. Oh my god, oh my god. god no. To try and convince some more goblins hiding through the trap corridor. <laughs> 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 I, I don't want to. I, I'm not going to try to even imagine that. Oh. Um, no, I'm not. I'm just not. Frying a goblin by dousing it in oil and holding it over a fire. Y'all guys are fucking. That, you guys are brutal. <laughs> That's proper brutal. Oh, fuck. And then we finally cornered the remnants of the goblin tribe, having them carring, surrendered, and unarmed goblins cut down in a display of violence. That finally convinced us that we had disturbed and annoyed our DM. <laughs> Poor DM. <laughs> DM's probably sitting there the whole time with his head in his oh, hands guys, going, What have I done? Are we really doing this, guys? <laughs> One goblin did survive all of this, though. Was it fucking Bendy Dick or whatever his name was? <laughs> <laughs> what, Bendy Dick the goblin? <laughs> yeah, what was the one that we read like a minute ago? Bendy Dick. Bendy Dick. Bag of dicks. Bag of dicks. Bag of dicks. You Bandy just said dicks. bag of dicks. Bag of dicks. <laughs> All right. Well, look, the paladin. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. I know who you're on about. One goblin did survive all of this, though, being taken as a pet by the cleric. He did not survive a golem exploding with the force of a small sun when its magical core went supernova and was reduced to nothing but dust. Alongside our fighter and sorcerer, the rogue, cleric, and barbarian made it. Well, you guys well, are fucked up. You guys, are, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm you gonna, guys need to go to therapy. You guys because are fucked up. He's Christ. Like you know, okay, I'll, I'll tell you the last one that I've had with goblins, and it was in the Icewind Deal game um, that I play in, and it wasn't even all that bad. It was just we had to go deal with some goblins. They'd stolen some iron or something like that. It was very early on. It was like the first session. Anyway, we go ahead. We deal with the goblins. We end up taking a few captured. And, uh, of course, Nelly the Yeti decides, you know what, let's just eat them instead. Because, you know, we're in the frozen barren tundra. Yeah. Food is very scarce. Yeah. And I was like, you know, if you guys want, yeah. you know, I'm not going to... I'm not, like, you know, I was only human in the party, but, like, I'm a <laughs> bit... Uh, like, the, the human I'm playing is a bit of an autist, to say the least. So, you know, <laughs> okay, guys, if you want, we can eat the goblins. That sounds cool. <laughs> you know, and I thought that was pretty bad, to be honest with you, but fuck Jesus me. Jesus Christ. Well, you give me a few ideas. <laughs> Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? 
Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. We had a run-in with goblins in Shadow of Demon Lord. Oh, for God's sake, I've heard thing, bad things about so Shadow of the Demon Lord. So I. It was for a no-stakes transition session, and it was fucking stupid, but I have to admit that I enjoyed it. Members of our group are retainers of the governor of the island the campaign is taking place on. Her sister is an absolute airhead with a heart of gold, who is bent on defending the lower class. She gets kidnapped. <laughs> of course. The GM wrote a ransom letter with a barely legible handwriting full of grammarly mistakes. A big part of the island industry is supported by non-human workers working in a cannery. Turns out that a cell of goblins, syndicate goblins, kidnapped the princess and her handmaidens, one of which was one of the PC's wives. Goblins are holding her hostage and ask for better working rights. Keep in mind that in this setting, goblins are fucking filthy cunts. Living in the sewers, entering through people's homes by their toilets. <laughs> <laughs> and they're generally horrible to be around. But they're not much worse than regular elves who are absolute sociopaths. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you know, like, if the goblins aren't eating out of the bins, like, what's the point? <laughs> this, like, you know. We investigate around town, talks with the cannery boss to get clues, etc. Delves into the goblins' lair. A blight town tier hole full of shacks and half built bridges. Not made for someone heavier than a goblin. Reach the bottom, covered knee deep in filth, the orc has to carry the halfling on his shoulders. Get to the syndicate headquarters, everything is oddly clean. A goblin wearing a homemade knight armour is in the hall, asking us to clean her hands and what's our business here. The governor's sister managed this group of goblins to be clean and more or less worship her as a goddess. Her handmaidens played along but wanted to get out of here. The newly appointed goddess of purity doesn't want to leave those poor souls behind. We have to convince her that she will be able to do more for them if she goes back to the court and enacts new laws for workers. My in-character written summary of the session was pure just lamentation and pain because it was retarded. Well, yeah, let's be honest with you. Who tries to clean goblins? <laughs> I know, like, honestly, the, like, I'm sorry, it's in their nature. I know. Like, you know, you can't, you can't bleed that nature out of them. It's like trying to get a dog not to roll. And shit, because the dog will roll and shit. It's the dog loves rolling and shit. It's part of their, it's built into their genetic code <laughs> yeah. to be doing that. I suppose this always brings up the good question of, like, can goblins live in civilized society? And my argument would be probably no. Not. I don't no. think, I don't think goblins can and live. And if they did, they would definitely be the hoarder smelly house in the street. Oh yeah, most definitely. Like, you know, I think at best, maybe they can live, but there's always going to be a level of friction and they're always going to be like the lower caste. Yeah. Um, I can't. I can't see them like being able to live side by side, like the same way like humans and dwarves and humans and elves and all yeah. that. I goblins just aren't able to. No. I, I don't see no. that personally. They're too tricksy to be around. Like, yeah, they will definitely steal your car keys. Oh yeah, they're definitely be stealing. not steal your car. No, they wouldn't steal the car. You know what they would? They'll steal? take the car keys. No, it's shiny. no, Megan. You know what they would steal? They would steal your dust caps off your tires. <laughs> yeah, the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what they'd be stealing. <laughs> You know the cliché of, if you make a character likeable or cute, the party will try to adopt them? So, space fantasy game. I draw maps and tokens for my games in Roll20. I had just designed an encounter in Zero Gravity, where that was the main thing. The mechanics there were fun, but since that was the main obstacle, then why were we fighting simple goblin space pirates? The goblins of course had a captain. The mission was to rescue a captured prince. So I drew this PC as the token and named her Captain Kelda Sparkle Razor. So yeah, of course they killed all the other goblins except her. Kidnapped her, took her on board the ship, and when someone else wanted to join the game late, I gave them the choice of playing her, or one of the few other NPCs, and they picked her. One player liked her enough she became a recurring character in all kinds of games in our group. These things just happen. You have to be aware. If you don't make your goblins ugly, the party will adopt them. The choice is yours. I mean, like, you know, come on here. He isn't going to pick up the... Like, you know, if they're funny, like, funny looking, we... We, we even did that, sure. Remember that? Like, you remember that game we played, what was it, about two years ago now? Remember you used to take that bag? 
Oh yeah. Remember him? Yeah, we but took he, him off. But he was pure. He was pure. Two thousand and two thousand and eleven Xbox Live screecher. <laughs> yeah. So he was. He was a. He was a Call of Duty like live chat screecher. So he, <laughs> yeah, was. he was. That was pretty much his personality. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of fun though. But yeah. Actually, but like, I, if if people are going to put short stacks in games. People are going to adopt short stacks. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, just saying. I mean, like, it is probably going to happen. <laughs> Let's be serious. Be me. Be playing Dragon Heist at a local game store. Good friend playing too. Known for his mm, creativity. Autism. Yeah, look, I, I prefer the term <laughs> the wacky spectrum. The wacky <laughs> spectrum? Like, like, you know, I don't like, know like, if you know, that's more offensive, James. No, <laughs> just wacky. <laughs> like, he's just a bit wacky on it, guys. You know, like, but everyone, you know exactly what I mean by, like, okay, on a scale of the wacky spectrum, how, 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 how wacky is How wacky is he? <laughs> you know, and that, that, should be like a, that should be like a treat. Like you know, I think it should be added. I think it, they should they should be able, like we should be able to put numbers to that shit. All right. Exploring sewers for some reason probably had something to do with the story. I don't remember exactly. Come across small goblin camp. They're all asleep. Friend has idea. He kidnaps two goblins. The rest wake up and flee. He stuffs one in his backpack and the other in mine. What? <laughs> you managed to do? Okay. That. We forget about them until a fight breaks out. A half an hour later, friend gets shot with an arrow. Ask DM if he can use his backpack goblin as a shield. DM tells him to roll a reflex check. Natural 20. Arrow kills goblin but saves him. Later on, my friend interrogates the goblin for some reason. Goblin doesn't know anything useful, as you would expect, but tells us his name is Jim Jar. Then, out of the blue, friend has an idea. I will spare your miserable life if you join forces with me. What? Dot JPEG. Goblin hastily agrees to do this. Friend leans over to me and tells me his plan to start a goblin militia. Beast. <laughs> what? <laughs> the party says fuck it and decides to help him. Over the next three sessions we do nothing but recruit goblins and train them for a personal goblin army. We even convince some bugbears to join us as shock troops for our army. By the final battle we had chosen 40 goblins all trained as bowmen line infantry with 10 bugbears acting as shock troops all led by Jim Jar. Fuck yeah! As the Fuck yeah, Jim bear. Jar! <laughs> we believe in you. All this because my half-retarded friend wanted a pet goblin. I also, I'm going to steal that idea here. Pet goblin, you I, 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 I want the what? goblin mafia. I want that. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm stealing that idea. I'm sorry, Teal. It's going to happen. I know in Spelljammer, goblins are a near extinct species, but I just want it. Okay? You, come on, Teal. Just do it for me, please. You know we can't end the video without doing some fucking filth. Filth. <laughs> like, 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 what's a night beardier video without some absolute degeneracy? Yeah. Like, absolutely the most depraved, the better. So, so uh, we yeah, go. we came across this. So let's just do this for a moment. Imagine just slamming a female goblin as hard as you can against the ground, just going full speed, grabbing her with both arms, lifting her clear over your head, then just slamming her down into the concrete with every fibre of muscle in your body. The noise of her destruction would be akin to a gunshot, but rather than the crack of a supersonic bullet, it's the collective cracking of every bone in her tiny body. She could just be waddling her little short stack waddle, then suddenly find herself lifting into the air, and the next time she blinks, she is launching towards the sidewalk at literally breakneck speed. Every little goblin bone in her body, every little goblin bone in her little gobble body, <laughs> would be broken, if not outright shattered. Compound fractures would tear through both her skin and pierce her internal organs. Blood and cranial fluids would leak from the multiple open fractures across her skull. Her lower teeth would be driven into her unhinged jaw. And as the life fades away from her, and her vision would turn black, she looks up at you and begs with her eyes. Why? Yet your casual stride away from her would give her the only answer she is worthy of. Why not? You see, the goblin's entire life is utterly beneath the notice of actual humans, and snuffling her pathetic life out was an action done so casually and so carelessly, it was far beyond your notice. It was just a thoughtless impulse, one already forgotten. The one and only reason nobody had ended her pitiful goblin life earlier was because nobody else could be bothered. She wasn't even worth the time to put any conscious thought into killing. With that realisation, the goblin releases her bowels. A runny goblin poop, as goblin lack the intestinal length to properly process food, and dies. Nobody bothers burying her. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, finally, that's a Kummer fantasy. Like, <laughs> like you know, you're, you're kind of like, no, it's it's not about Kummer. It's about it's about it's about Emden. It's a it's about it's like, no, it's it's about wanking. All right. It's, 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 I'm sorry, it's about wanking. All right, guys. So, guys, I don't think that one was as bad as what I expected yeah. going in. I I honestly I honestly expected worse because generally speaking, Goblins. like I, there, there, there there is there is just something about like you know like the boys just go really enjoy their short stacks. Really enjoy them. However, however, we've got news for you. Do you guys? You guys Do want- you guys like short stacks? Yeah, exactly. Because we have got a model. Look at her. Look, she's like a locket. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a really cool model. She's got thick bitties, thick she, thighs, teeny waist. You know, if it's something you're interested in, you know, check them out. Links down below. You know, it's, uh, it helps us out yes, a lot. Go check the um, website. Honestly, if you guys have any stories about goblins, I love hearing about yes, them. Yes, we are. As I say, I'm, I've been playing as a goblin for about, what, maybe three, four months? Something like that. Something yeah. like that, yeah. I really enjoy playing as him. I think he's a lot of fun. And, uh, uh, I, I, I've got a few ideas for different characters down the road, but I just really enjoy their racial abilities being able to run in and out of combat yeah. and stuff. Have any of you ever played a goblin? Let us know if you have down below, because I want to hear your stories if you've ever played one. Because um, it's, I f- think it's a different character playing. Not it everybody is. thinks about playing them. It's it, it's difficult. It, it can be difficult, and sometimes like you know, it can be like you know, am are you doing too much comic relief? Or am I just playing a meme at this point? Yeah, you know. But let us know down below if you've played one and how you played them down below and check out the links again check out the models hit, su- out a lot. Yep, hit subscribe uh, don't be going about curb stomping goblins unless you know you're really into that type of shit <laughs> um, but as always hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>